such that we can rapidly create 3D backdrop sets and avatars for deployment during film shoot. Crypto-based smart contracts are something one naturally thinks of when we start down the pathway of reusing the avatars of actors previously recorded or reusing characters created in previous screenplay by a different writer. The idea with smart contracts is that each contributor to a film production can have a real-world contract that specifies payments and residuals with those payments and residuals enforced through a crypto-based smart contract system that is connected to a contribution and play tracking system. I know this is a whole lot in a very short sentence. A, a contribution play tracking system is also connected to the real world contract with a percentage of contribution value that is used each time a film or show is played and hence track for residuals and payments. So we move on to virtual production and post and in production which is done in the cloud. Uh, as we move to fully digital production and away from film stock, it becomes clear that virtual production, post-production can happen nearly simultaneously. It might just be called production in the future. LED panel walls driven by game engines, Epic's Unreal Engine, again, provide virtual backdrops and avatars with live actors in the middle being able to be shot on digital against those LED panel wall virtual sets. And those backdrops and avatars can be changed quickly using game industry standard tools and realistic lighting match can happen then instead of later in a post-production process. If the digital shoot is placed in a cloud environment, then dailies can be reviewed, editing can happen immediately, color correction, grading can be performed, and visual effects added at a distance or locally by the distributed production team. And as digital production tools get developed and more familiarity by the production team happens, foam production becomes lower cost and requires less time. These are some pictures from Amazon Studios virtual production wall, their LED panel walls, and they look very cool. There's also a video that they put out. I'm going to play a little bit of it so you can get the idea of what's going on here. At Amazon Studios, we think big, and that's why we've invested in the newest technologies expanding our creative possibilities and offering our filmmakers an experience like no other. Introducing Amazon Studios Virtual Production. One of the goals at Amazon Studios is to make this a home for storytellers. We obsess over the filmmakers. We ourselves are the filmmakers, so we're trying to make a safe place for storytellers to be ambitious. When we went through and actually started to plan out our wall, we really were concerned about making sure that our wall was all purpose. So we went a little bit bigger than traditional walls that have been built in the past, just so we're able to encompass full world building shows as well as uh, smaller series. It's a nice spot. Yeah, you can't get a table on weekends. There's such a wonderful realism that's created with virtual. I'm gonna skip ahead. I think you can, I'll give you the link where you can find that video. It's quite cool. But what you see is you can put the actors, the live actors on a table in a restaurant and shoot them and behind them is the rest of the restaurant and windows to the outside world. And that is awesome. So those LC LED panel walls are very cool. There are some additional tools that can be near automated, uh, such as multi-language animation where the lips and faces of the characters shot in English can be reanimated to a new language. And using AI tools similar to those currently available from the company Pin Screen, which currently does this for Netflix on contract, and I, I found this piece of video from Pin Screen, so I'm going to play it because this is very cool. Ich habe gelesen, dass Boxen wie Schachspielen ist. Rudi, ab ins Bett. I've read that boxing is like playing chess. Rudi, off to bed. I've read that boxing is like playing chess. Rudi, off to bed. So that's, I think that's totally cool. This is AI that changes the lips. So the lips and the face move like the language that is being spoken. And I think that's amazing that you could do that. All right, let's move on to under customer understanding and retention and streaming and delivery. Some of the additional things the chief scientist has to focus on are technologies for customer understanding and retention and customer modeling for the film and television realm means that we have to collect interactions by customers with the streaming channels interface such that we can make decisions as to what to present to those customers. Uh, interesting AI things going on in this space are visible from many companies. When one company is Versus Game, 
that creates interactive games from prior customer interactions, such as interface clicks and web pages read, and putting them inside of a streaming interface for a streaming channel looks very interesting. And by the way, full disclosure, I'm an advisor to Versus Game. In fact, I'm an advisor to 20 startups, 20 plus startups. And if you go to versusgame.com, you get to see the first platform to gamify the human experience. And Versus Game offers creators and brands the opportunity to cultivate a community with an interactive content solution that rewards knowledge. It's a very cool company. ChatGPT gives us the opportunity to create AIs that can listen and interact with the desires and past experiences with customers. With such interactions, we could have a virtual movie friend running on an Alexa-like device that listens to our comments on films and then perhaps suggests the next thing to watch. Streaming and delivery. Modern streaming network architectures do rather well today, but the chief scientist needs to think three to five years out. With mobile networks beyond current 5G, some of the focus may be on the question, will the current way we stream our entertainment work well as much of the streamed entertainment moves across the mobile network infrastructure? Things perform differently in mobile, and this will be something that needs to be prepared for. And robust and secure networking is something all the streaming services do well, but with with now, but there are always new challenges. And if we look back to Sony's 23-day 2011 PlayStation network outage, we all know what happens if there is even the smallest crack in our infrastructure security. And it's all going to get worse when we have quantum computing that breaks our password security models nearly instantly. And the real question is, what's the replacement? And it's not just passphrases. Passphrases are just longer passwords, right? Did I get the chief scientist position? Well, it's still under discussion and probably not knowable until past this column's turn in date. I, I've gone through six rounds of interviews, one asking, can you start next week? And another indicating, I hope to see you at uh, wherever this place is soon. And we will see. And it's been a great experience. And I thought we should think about chief scientist positions for all film studios. And this is one collection of technologies to look at today and three years to five years from now. It's a different set of technologies, but it gives you the idea of what's coming and directions a chief scientist has to move into. Here are the references, and you can find these all on uh, the paper online. Acknowledgements, I want to thank uh, Gerard Medioni for his long friendship and inspiration to me towards applying to this position. And I'd like to thank Scott Easley for the many discussions over the years on generative AI and his close read on this column. And there's some additional people with whom I've had fruitful discussions, including Jerish Bajaz, Dan Scharf, Rafael Soltanovich, Ale Alish Martinez, and Aaron Rothman, all who've been wonderful people to know and chat with. So here is my email address, here is my website, and we will stop sharing this document at the moment. And thank you for listening to my uh, IEEE computer games column. And this has been the 14th column. I've been doing this for every other month for the last 28 months. Anyway, have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.